The 1960s undoubtedly was the golden era of senior football for Clan Aaron. We appeared in seven championship finals in a 10 year period. No doubt we should have had more success in that period. It's now 58 years since we last appeared in a final. So uh, we are delighted to return to what we consider to be our rightful place. So I would like to wish the current team all the best for the final on the 14th of November. Undoubtedly, they have the ability to beat Cross McLean. All they need is to bring their confidence with them. Uh, I'm just delighted to discover that Clan Iron, the county final once again, has been far, far too long since they first appeared. We won it in 1963 against a very powerful Cross McLean team. Uh, well, uh, you know, I've been in Clan Iron for God knows how long. I think it started when I was about 11 or 12, and I'm still here. And I'm 82 next in a, in a week's time. But, uh, you know, I'm so proud. I played, I played a long time myself, but I'm, so, I'm, I'm more proud now that, you know, I've got to the stage where we're back in a final and have three grandchildren involved in the, in the team. And I'm so proud of them. And I'm proud of all the boys, like, you know, it mean, means an awful lot to me. I've, I've watched these young fellas here for years, you know, when. Uh, you know, when from the run, under 15s, under 17s, under 18s, you know, and we're still producing these teams coming along. Well, uh, my advice to them is quite, don't be afraid, but they wouldn't be afraid of them. They, them boys would know nothing about Cross McLean. They're all young fellas, and you know, they can they can give Cross McLean all of them, all of them. And I hope they do. It'd be a happy day for me, I think, yeah, when they win. <laughs> In 63, Cross were the red hot favourites. Didn't matter to us, we went out and we did our best, and our best was good enough. So, this present time, they do the same. Reputations are there to be destroyed, and it's up to them to destroy them. Doesn't matter how good they are, they can still be beaten. There's no such thing as unbeatable. But after 60 minutes, if you beat them, you beat them. Nothing more, nothing less. To play with the boys from Clan Iron has been an excellent friendship. We've grew up together, we've played on Shore Road, for ours, the team that played in the final from 58 to 63, I would say 60% of them came off the shore road and all played together, went to school together, grew up. Um, we have been friendship this 50 years. Every one of us. I'm glad to see Clan Hearn having finally reached the final this year. It has been a long, long wait. Back well, it's just I wish the boys all the very best. I would never miss their matches normally if I can get to the, some of the matches, but sometimes injury doesn't let me go to some of the matches, you know. And I usually bring my chair, and of seven grandchildren all playing between the Sarfields and Peter, and I can't get a Clarin in one amongst them. And Clarin is the only one in this town that seemed to be able to get a championship now, and I'm only hoping that they can prove their point. You know, it would be. It would be like manna from heaven for me. Fifty years, fifty-eight years later, to get that, to get that uh, medal. You know, hopefully they'll rise to the occasion. 
and they're getting the greatest chance they've had in 58 years. But it's a fantastic, young, energetic, skillful team. Clan Erin, of course, is not just a Gaelic football team. It's a community event with the youth club and all the other activities which are going on. Our motto at the moment is forward together. So let's move forward together on the 14th.